welcome back with another video and this video is going to be on how I achieved this taper cut look without having to actually cut my real hair so I know the taper cuts are definitely in right now they're definitely a trending natural hairstyle so if you want to see how I achieve this look. without having to cut your hair stay tuned Okay, so starting off, I have seven boxes of Curl Kaline hair. I have three boxes of Tony, two boxes of Carrie, and two boxes of Sanaya. So for this hairstyle, you're gonna need some scissors, a crochet needle, and of course, the hair. Starting off with Tony Curl, and I'm gonna use Tony Curl to fill up the back and the sides of my hair. This is what my braid pattern looks like. It's about 12 braids going across the front and about six in the back. So this is what the Tony curl looks like once you unravel it. And basically I'm just showing you how I wrap it around my finger to form my own little loop so that I am able to crochet the hair. I'm going to take my crochet needle, slide it underneath my braid. I'm going to hook the hair into the crochet needle, close the latch, slide it underneath the braid and feed the other side of the hair through to form a knot. Once again, I'm gonna slide the needle underneath the braid, hook the hair in, close the latch, and slide the hair through. Feed the hair through the loop and form a knot. So one little tip I would like to throw out there is that you do need to double knot the crochet braids in the back because once you start cutting, it gets pretty close to that knot and the curls will just fall out. I actually had a few of my curls fall out, but luckily enough, the hair is so big and fluffy in the back that you weren't able to tell, but I was. So I ended up going back to put more curls in there. But yeah, just double knot your crochets in the back and on the sides because you're gonna be cutting, you're gonna be doing a lot of cutting to those. Okay, so this is what one box of Tony Curl looks like without the curls being separated. And this is what two boxes looks like with only half of the curls being separated. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in and do some light separating. Okay, so now you can see the difference between two boxes lightly separated and two boxes fully separated. So now I'm just filling up the middle back of my hair and the sides of my hair with the Sanaya Curl. So periodically you'll see me just going in doing some light separation and I pretty much did that throughout the entire process to kind of help alleviate the time after the process. Okay, so here is what two boxes of Sanaya Curl looks like. Now we're gonna use the Carry Curl to complete the rest of the hairstyle. Carry Curl to me is one of the larger curls.
so I decided to put a little side part in it. Take me a few pictures, of course, but you know, we gotta cut it. But first, we must separate. Y'all thought I was feeling myself earlier, but wait until these curls are separated, honey. I am feeling myself. This little afro was everything. Okay, so now it's time to cut it. Okay, so the first step is going to be to simply separate my hair in the top into one section away from the rest of my hair. So I'm starting with the section around my ear and I'm doing that so that I can have a base guideline for this cut. So because I'm going for that taper cut look, to give it a flatter appearance on the sides and the back, I basically almost had to cut all of the curl off. Now I know I basically just made that look easy, but I was in here for almost an hour cutting on this hair to get it to the shape that I really, really was going for. So be prepared when you are trying to achieve this hairstyle that you will be in here cutting for days. <laughs> Now y'all know it wouldn't be right if we didn't have us a karaoke session. Now y'all remember when I said I was a side part girl. So here is the style with the side part look in it. So after playing and cutting, playing and cutting some more, here is the finished product. Thank you all for watching. If you thought this was an easy tutorial, let me know that below. And if you like this video, go ahead and thumbs up. See you all in my next video. Bye.